So, instead of being at the library, Stellan, who usually comes to story time, and I are going to do story time from home. So, hi. <laughs> are you excited to see all the people? I don't know if anybody's here. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I just got a text saying that they don't see it. Uh, am I not live? No, I see live, and I see that three people are watching it. Oh, good. Yeah. So, if you could go on my Facebook and promote this. Sure. Yeah, to my personal page, then everybody we know can see that it's live too. All right, so welcome to story time. I'm going to use Stellan as my puppet this day, because my little kitty cat is at the library, and we are not. So, all right, this is Stellan, and I'm Emma. And does anybody here out there have ears? These are Stellan's ears and they're good for listening with. Anybody here have a nose? Stellan, do you have a nose? Yeah? Oh, can you make it go, ah choo, ah choo, ah choo. It's a good nose. No, what about your mouth? Do you have a mouth? Can you make it make noise? Stellan, can you say ma 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 ma? Yeah, we're working on that. Uh, <laughs> who has cheeks? These are Stellan's cheeks. They go pinch, pinch, pinch. Who has a head? This is Stellan's head. Who has hair on their head? This is hair on their head. Who has a back? This is Stellan's back. Back, 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 back. And who has a chest? Oh, was I sideways? You were sideways. Okay. Yeah. That's a bummer. It's been fixed. All right. Well, the baby's up here now. Okay. Who has a chest? This is Stellan's chest. And who has? Who has? Who has a belly button? <laughs> has a belly button? All right, blow us a kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right, snuggle up together, babies in your lap. Snuggle up together and clap, clap, clap. <laughs> snuggle up together, and don't you nap? Snuggle up together and tap, tap, tap. We're working out together, daddy. Baby, don't stop. We're working out together, so hop, hop, hop. Snuggle up together, babies in your lap. Snuggle up together and clap, clap, clap. Our rhyme is almost over. Get ready to stop. Now our rhyme is over, so stop, stop, stop. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, give a hug. If you're ready for a story, give a hug. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, give a hug. If you're ready for a story, peekaboo, peekaboo. If you're ready for a story, peekaboo, peekaboo. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you. All right, so uh, just so everyone knows, uh, the library is still doing curbside pickup until Friday, 5 p.m. So if you need to call in and get your books, do so before then. But we also uh, will always have somebody on the phones providing service for Hoopla and Libby. And Hoopla has lots of great picture books on it. Uh, Libby has some too, but Hoopla has a lot of great picture books and especially books that'll read to you. They have those Disney books that you can get with a CD in them, only they just do it for you. Uh, so use your library card to sign into the app Hoopla. All right, I'm going to pass the baby over so I can read one of my books. And turn oh. this over here, if I can. Oh, Does that work? Is that too far? It's too far. That's too far. It's too far. Okay, because otherwise it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall. So how about to, a surface? How about under this? It. Okay. It'll that's, flop a little bit. No, that's, that's not that's good. It's a surface. We'll need a surface underneath that. I don't know why. It was working when I tried it earlier. Hmm. You were sideways, and we had to make it not sideways, and I don't know. And now it's tipping over. It's tipping this over. is a new thing we bought on Amazon last week when we realized yeah. this might be happening. Uh, um, so. All right. I'm going to start in my uh, my tech guy over here, who is a producer at WGBH, and uh, so he's an expert on this sort of thing. Oh, absolutely. Uh, he's <laughs> going to work on this. This book is called When Watuti Wants Some Water, and it is by my friend Jennifer Sarja, and uh, uh, she has given me permission to read this on the stream. Uh, the illustrations are by Henry Fan, uh, Jeanette Lowe, and David Rowe, who were children when they did the illustrations, but now they're grown because 
This was a while ago. <laughs> When Watuti wants some water. When Watuti wants some water, she must rise early from her bed. If she had a choice, she'd go to school instead. When Watuti goes for water, she doesn't go to the kitchen sink. She must walk alone in a, to a distant brook. It's not as easy as you think. I'm tired. When Watuti walks for water, she must carry a big clay pot, although cool against her back. It sure does weigh a lot. My back hurts. When Watuti drinks the water, she can't sure be sure it's very clean. There's often dirt inside or something kind of green. I don't feel so good. When Watuti hikes for water, she often feels afraid of darkened caves and monsters waiting on parade. We need water to cook, cries Watuti's mother. We need water to bathe, our uncle sounds. Mom, we're thirsty, shout Watuti's brothers, as empty jugs lie all around. Can't I go to school too? There's no time, Watuti. We need more water. When Watuti's family wants some water and the pots have all run dry, it's Watuti's job to fill them up so her days go by. Then one day, as Watuti walks for water, she sees girls so weak and tired, she cries out, enough's enough, for she has been inspired. We need to dig a well. When Watuti speaks of water, she imagines one central place, a place where the water be clean, nearby, without any dangers to face. As Watuti plans for water, she calls out to all the nations to buy the tools and all the supplies she knows they'll need donations. Count us in! Do we have enough yet? How about now? 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 Oh, that piggy is so full. Oink, 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 he says. When Watuti digs for water, she digs deep in the ground. But the job is worth the effort, for indeed, the water is found. Hooray! Now when Watuti wants some water, hours a day she can save. Instead of walking to distant brooks and walking past that scary cave. There's water to cook, cries Watuti's mother. There's water to bathe, her uncle sounds. No one cries out now, I'm thirsty, for there's plenty of water all around. When Watuti wants some water, she still rises early from her bed. Of course, if she had the choice, she'd go to school instead. And now, thanks to the well, and thanks to you, because this, this book raised money for wells, she can do both. The end. All right. Um, so until I find more books where the authors have agreed to uh, give us the rights to stream for them, uh, this week we're only doing one book because we're limited by my collection of books and uh, who has tweeted out permissions. So I'm going to start contacting some more publishers and such for next week and doing more of my friends' books too because it's a great chance to do that. All right, speaking of doing stuff I own the rights to, this is my song and it's called The Otter Slide. And if you can, if you know it or if you can join along, you can sing along from home. It goes like this. On the otter slide, you will be playing on the otter slide. You could spend all day in the otter Day to 
<laughs> Sorry about all the puns. Waka waka. Waka waka. Yeah. All right. Oh, I need my phone because that's where the poems are. Ah, okay. We don't have a printer at home. All right. My first poem is by Robert Louis Stevenson. And I've probably played it for some of you as a song before, but I'm going to read it as a poem. It's called Block City. What were you able to build with your blocks? Castles and palaces, temples and docks? Rain may keep raining, and others go roam, but I can be happy and building at home. Let the sofa be mountains, the carpet be sea, there I'll establish a city for me, a kirk and a mill and a palace beside, and a harbor as well, where my vessels may ride. Great is the palace with pillar and wall, a sort of a tower on top of it all, and steps coming down in an orderly way where my toy vessels lie safe in the bay. This one is sailing, and that one is moored, Hark to the song of the sailors on board, and see on the steps of my palace my kings coming and going with presents and things. The end. And I, well, A, that's my favorite Robert Louis Stevenson poem, but I think that it is great for now to think about all the fun, imaginative play things we can do inside, and that we can create our own outside inside. And yeah. Um, all right, let's do some songs together. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Ah! But do not let them in and in. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, ah! But do not let them in, in, in. Yay! All right. All right, this is the time that most of you are waiting for. Give me the baby, because I don't need a puppet, because I got a baby to be my puppet. Woo. All right, ready? If you are a big kid and then jump, please be standing up. If you are a baby and need to be on a lap, please be on a lap. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. Sizzle, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up, 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 up. Sizzle, 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 pop, pop. The popcorn is a popping up 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up 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 up. The popcorn is a popping up 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 up. Sizzle, 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 pop, pop, pop. Oh, Stan, we just got a message saying that Sarah is trying to share her Cheerios with you through the screen. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, uh, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout, tip me over and pour me out. I'm a special teapot, yes, it's true. Here's a thing that I can do. I can turn my handle into a spout. Dip me over and pour me out. Yay. 
The flying hands in the air open like a sun, float off like a jellyfish and begin to run over your arms and onto your head, onto your belly and onto your legs. Eat wherever they go, especially cute little noses. The flying hands in the air open like a sun, Float up like a jellyfish and begin to run over your arms and onto your head, onto your belly and onto your legs. Eat wherever they go, especially cute little noses. Tweak! Yay! Mwah. All right, can I hand him over? Yep. This song needs sign language. Okay. Baby! Uh, this song is by a band called Hullabaloo. They're based out of San Diego. And this morning, uh, uh, they got back to me and said that I had the rights to do this over streaming. So this is called You Are Loved. If I could tell you one thing, this is what it'd be. You are loved, you are loved, oh, and you are loved by me. If I could tell you two things, this is what it'd be. You are strong, you are strong, oh, and you are loved by me. If I could tell you three things, this is what it'd be. You are good, you are strong, oh, and you are loved by me. But if I could say just one thing, this is what it'd be. You are loved, you are loved, oh, and you are loved by me. And that's You Are Loved, and you can find it on the internet, or on Spotify, or CDs once, you know, the library's open again. Um, ah, next I'm going to do, uh, so I'm going to do a book as a song, and as a transformative work, I can do this. If you go and you look on, uh, posts from last summer on, uh, the Wellesley site, or if you just go looking for my, uh, uh, my YouTube uh, you can find the whole thing with the pictures and all that. But uh, we're just going to play through Sir Lilypad by Anna Kemp. All right. It goes like this. Once, once upon a time in a deep, dark bog lived a teeny, tiny, speckled frog. His father brothers called him Little Tad, but he preferred Sir Lilypad. Sir Lilypad, the proud and free, a tiny, slimy armor he. Sir Lilypad, the brave and wise slayer of the dragon lies. But no one takes you seriously when you're not much bigger than a pea. And so Sir Lily wished and longed to grow up big and tall and strong. Then one night tucked in his nook, he read the most terrific book. Frog to prince in one small kiss for a great roll of royal miss. Sir Lily scratched his speckled head. I'd never of that he said, if I could save a princess true, I'd surely grow a foot or two. Next morning, feeling tough and brave, he hopped up to a local cave, found an ogre vast and green, watering his runner beans. Hulk the ogre, where's the dame? Cooked her lily eyes of flame. The ogre shook his massive head. I'm far too Bye. 
buggy lack a lady, that's my friend, no need to save me. And have you seen me in a fright? I just don't need a noble knight. Brave Sir Lily turned quite pale and suddenly began to wail. Now I'll be forever small and not a proper knight at all. The other frogs will call me stuff like Winnie Pants Sugar Puff. <laughs> to Stellan when he was an undersized uh, failure to thrive baby and now he's a 80th percentile strong almost 10 month old so Very big. the song worked yes the song worked is what I'm saying mm -hmm. all right twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Let's try that one again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay. Yay! All right, you have your bottles out? Five green bottles hanging on a wall. Five green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. If you have five and one falls, how many do you have? One, two, three, Four green bottles hanging on a wall. Four green bottles hanging on a wall. Four green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. If you have four and one falls, what do you have? One, two, three green bottles hanging on a wall. Three green bottles hanging on a wall. Three green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. If you have three and one falls, what do you have? One, two green bottles hanging on a wall. Two green bottles hanging on a wall. Two green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. If there's two and one falls, what do you have? One green bottle hanging on a wall. One green bottle hanging on a wall. One green bottle hanging on a wall. And if that green bottle should accidentally fall. If this one falls, what happens? You have no green bottles hanging on a wall. Yay! Yay! Hopefully the stores are open to replace your green bottles. Yeah. Um, or hopefully they're not, right. for their employees' sake. Exactly. All right. Uh, I wish I were a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I wish I were a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, it's slippy and it's slidey over everybody's hidey. Oh, I wish I were a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Yay. Yay. All right, hand me the baby. Okay. We got a tickle song. Whoop. We got a tickle song. Whoa. <coughs> tickle song. Are we still straight? Slowly. Soon? 
slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the wooden rail. Ready, Stellan? Ready? <gasps> quickly, quickly, very quickly, runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, all around the house. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the wooden rail. Ready? Who oh, quickly, quickly, very quickly runs a little mouse. Who oh, quickly, quickly, very quickly all around the house. Yay! All right, I've got one more poem to read to you, and this is by my friend Sylvia Baer, who writes poems for children's and, children and adults. And this is called "Bad and Good: A Poem for Children." Bad things happen. You know that it's true. Bad things happen to me and to you. They happen to mean people and to the good. They happen in cities and your neighborhood. Sometimes they happen long into the night. And even in daytime, bad things give us a fright. But always remember when scared or afraid, some things that are happy and, you ne you'd, never and you'd never trade. Think of a sunrise all shiny and gold and of an ice cream deliciously cold. The leaves on tall trees greeting all who walk by and fluffy white clouds drifting high in the sky. Remember your family who love you a lot. And then think of your friends and how many you've got. So though there's some sadness and even some strife, it's a wonderful world and a beautiful life. And even though you can't see your friends right now, you still can see your family and you can still see all of those things and you can think about how many friends you have and how much you love them. So that's nice to hear. All right, who's got some milk? Who's got some cream? All right, you ready? You pour a little milk, pour the milk. And you pour a little cream, pour the cream. You stir it all around. You shake it and you sing. Oh, one, two, three, four, milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. All right, you got your milk, your cream. You pour a little milk, pour the milk. And you pour a little cream, pour the cream. You stir it all around. You who shake it and you sing. Oh, one, two, three, four. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up. A milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Now you drink it. Mmm, give me milkshake. Yay! And I can't give you stamps right now because you're on the other side of the screen, but I bet if you ask your big people really nicely, they'll do bl bubbles for you. Because they're not as much fun if they're just on the screen, right? You gotta pop them. Yeah. You gotta pop them. Stella, you're gonna, gonna come say goodbye to all the nice people. Hey. And remember, Hoopla and Libby, which you can call the library and ask for help, or if you're just a Facebook a friend of mine uh, watching this, you can just message me on Facebook and I'll talk you through the sign-up process to get you all the e-books that you need, even picture books, even everything. Um, and we are still doing curbside pickup at the Wellesley Free Library to anybody in Minuteman until Friday at 5. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How do I stop this? I don't know how to stop. Finish. Yeah.